Hello and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. It's a late Sunday evening and I realized I still haven't done a video yet. Busy weekend, but I found a kit which we should have a look at. You know, when you finish a kit and you start building a new one and the excitement to choose the kit out of the stash which you're gonna build next, it's nearly the same when I have a look at what, what I'm gonna do the next kit review. I've also had that the other day that I decided what to build next, which is the uh, Hasegawa um, Lancia 037, which I'm busy with right now, just uh, this afternoon, put some decals on it. But today we're looking at the Chevy Sedan delivery from the fine folks over at Rivell. Here it is, there's one of my uh, Germany buys. Those of you who don't know, came back from Germany last month and brought with me couple of kits. This one I bought at a drugstore chain called Müller Markt and they sometimes have uh, kits for reasonable prices and this was one of them and uh, I love a uh, sedan a delivery van. I really do love them especially the pre-World War II ones. Beautiful beautiful cars, the curves, the swings, the grill. Um, it, it just has a couple of characteristics which really speak to me and now in this one is a obviously a whiskey hauler wow yes even better I uh, don't know if it has the barrels with it we will have a look at that because as you can see I'm not sure if you can but yeah you might see with the, the way the light is reflecting this is still sealed so we're gonna unseal it together once we get down to the bench but before we do that let's have a quick look at the history of this kit it might not be a very brand new one, if I have to guess, but let's have a look and find out together. See you there. And here we are downstairs on my uh, Scalemates page, where well, obviously my stash is in, so if you want to look for it, just look for Roland and you will see all the kits which I have at the moment and this one obviously is one of them one of my new kits a beautiful beautiful little Chevy sedan delivery this particular one was a um, 2023 new parts uh, reissue and uh, it came quite some way and as you probably have guessed it was first a monogram kit it looked like this, this right over here. Came out in 1978 as kind of a hot rod with this green and green and beige flames. Interesting. And uh, then the first Rebel kit. There were a couple of coupes, you know, 39 uh, Chevy coupes. But uh, the, as a sedan, the Rebel first one was this uh, low rider. Look at this with the gold wheels. And these uh, very interesting figure here on top. So that was that. And then uh, after that, obviously, we uh, eventually, via another coupe from Monogram, came to the kit which we're going to have a look at today. And I think we should uh, move right down uh, to the uh, bench and have a look at the 39 Chevy sedan delivery from Rebel. I'll see you there. So here we are with the 39 Chevy sedan delivery. Still see the Muller marked price on the plastic around it. Let's have a look around the box. Very beautiful box art here. Huge barrel here at the back. Wonder if that's in there. Then on the side, basically the box art and it tells you and the scale then here we have some alternative uh, two-tone paintings two-tone might be something as well yeah looks beautiful not so sure about the golden uh, oil pan might not go for that here at the bottom we have uh, the skill levels uh, explained which uh, Rebel is still indulging in on that side the same than on the other and then on this side a bit more detail about the kit tells you how long it is nearly 20 centimeters it has 97 parts so it's not 
unbelievably part heavy but it doesn't have 20 either so that should be all right gives you an idea of the colors needed that's uh, quite a few and they're normally more in the instructions as well but i think the time has come we pop the sherry sherry the cherry off this kit and open the plastic open it up hey, that went quite nicely and see what's in here so we have to start with tires on a sprue first idea that this is not a new fresh kit so it is a 2023 repop here we have yeah we'll have a closer look at that right now we have the body right over here we have all the most plastic parts in one bag we'll have a look at those we have uh, the chrome parts in a separate bag that is appreciated we obviously have the instruction sheet which looks like a you know kind of 80s and 90s revel instruction sheet in the black and white photo and we obviously have a decal sheet which we're going to have a look at in a minute right now should we have a look at the instruction sheet? Let's see, has somebody uploaded them? No, certainly not me. So we will look at this together. Maybe just make sure that the whole page fits in here. Here we go, something like that. All right. So uh, at the front, a bit of the history and uh, the usual warnings. Here is the color cool art the set, right, quite a few of those colors. And then some of the 90 plus 10 and uh, 75 plus 25 uh, colors, with the mud brown gloss, etc. These are Revell colors, obviously I don't use Revell colors, so no, none of interest to me. Right, then we have uh, body parts right over here. So Reval USA obviously doesn't show you the sprues. So if you have to go through here to check if you have all the parts, what is very nice is they give you the part name. So uh, like me, you can learn the English names of certain parts. Then they start out with the engine. We have all seen this before. Not too complicated, actually quite simple. I don't see a distributor or any of that. Oh yeah, there, there's a, no, that's not it either. There's your light wheeler, as they say, um, generator as it was at the time, and uh, some other parts. So not overly complicated at all. We have wheels, we have, uh, it has a separate rear suspension, so that's quite something. It's a separate front suspension. Very, very cool. Then the, engine gets dropped in did i miss something no i didn't and uh, then we have this here at the back which looks like benches or something then we have the barrels right over here pretty cool seats which looks a uh, very comfortable seats certainly not the original ones that's for sure uh, we have the dashboard, which even appears to get some decals on it. So that's pretty cool. We'll have a look at that just now. Uh, dashboard mounting right over here. Beautiful body right over here. It even has a uh, glass roof. Then everything gets put together. Firewall and the dashboard. Then the doors. Here we go. That obviously is the back door which it looks like you can make to swing open. So we'll certainly attempt this once we build it. The sun visor, iconic sun visor. Ah, love that sun visor. And uh, then the body guts on here. So, uh, yeah, if you want to do it two-tone, it's not that difficult because as you can see, the fenders are on the bottom part and the top part is something else. So uh, you could do it two-tone that way which in the old days was very, very common. So that might be something to look at. Then uh, the uh, dampers for the uh, rear uh, assembly, 
the light buckets and lights right over here and the beautiful beautiful grill two extra reflectors right over there then a very iconic uh, bird for your hood or bonnet and some other very lovely parts which you can put on your bumper then uh, that uh, I would assume is the tanklet and then we have some other part what is this what do they put on here don't see that in the picture anyway there it goes um, it might be an antenna I suppose you're right and uh, mirrors well, that's real light oh okay interesting and then you see different versions shall we have a closer look at that you can have the Kentucky they have two town but the two town is at the top and then they have a pops right over there we have root beer and we have the Kentucky barrel here we go very very cool and uh, you obviously are very very free to do that any other way and looking at the box art yeah it is it is uh, i love that i love that box art so that might be something to look out for anyway so this are the instructions let's pop them back in the box and let's have a quick look at the decals we can get a bit closer for that again Here we go. As you see, as we have seen, there are different uh, finished versions. There are different decals as well. Kentucky barrels, there's pops, there's root beer. There's uh, different uh, art pieces right over here, pinstriping pieces. There are tire um, decals over there, different kind of uh, registration marks, and even here something for the dashboard and instrument panel which is pretty pretty cool so they look good i mean 2023 so they normally are good the bell decals are normally not bad at all sorry right tires we have seen as we took them out they are on the sprue so they need some work they're also pretty hard you probably have to build the wheels around the tires you won't be able to put them on afterwards need some cleanup the tread looks all right that's cool so uh, nothing to write home about but i think which is impossible to work <laughs> then let's have a look at the glass more transparent parts we shall call them as so from this side you see you have the uh, the whole cabin windows as one then there's a front window yeah don't know how that's going to work we will see i think there are some clear parts that do not belong to this particular version but yeah there certainly will be some spare parts of these clear parts this looks more like the coupe glass right over here anyway we will see as we build it and uh, this belongs to the rear flap right over here i think this will be the front window right over here with the with the uh, little side windows and we'll have a look from there where the rest is gonna go right let's have a look at the chrome parts always remember the original kit is from the 80s so um, keep that in mind right wheels look pretty cool there we go let's get a bit closer here so you guys can see yeah that doesn't look bad I like those wheels very classic very nice we have some engine parts here if you like chrome engine parts otherwise you can obviously can dechrome it we have the bumpers here and unfortunately attached here so it probably means we will have to possibly rechrome this i don't know yes, yeah as i worked in those days here we have uh, also attachment points which might be a little bit in the way we have some valve covers over here i guess that's uh, number plate holders and some other parts right here like uh, light reflectors etc otherwise pretty cool pretty cool 
the chrome is not too thick it's just where the chrome is uh, where the chrome parts are attached to the sprue it doesn't look unclean so they are not visible seams or something so i guess you could get away to cutting them off and uh, touching them up with molotov or something similar yeah that is up to you but you get the idea chrome parts look all right no seams but uh, attachment points obviously are an issue as they very often are with these things then we have a big bag of plastic right over here let's open this up quickly here we go let's dish this all out we start with a, a brown piece which has the barrels Want to see the details of the barrels? Not too bad. Right over there. Right over there. Here we go. And obviously, we'll need some detailing. But yeah, there are barrels, which is cool. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. What would be a whiskey delivery van without a couple of barrels? Then. Uh, Let's have a look at the first sprue firewall we have the radiator right over here headlight buckets there are uh, covers right over here there are the intakes or out outtakes you want so and uh, carburetor parts right over here or dual carburetor setup pretty cool not bad like that here we go. Next one is this one here, which comes with these uh, seeds. Very 70s looking seeds. Um, the frame, which is huge, which has the exhaust molded in. Why? Anyway, there, that's how it is. And uh, what is this? Is this the tank, supposedly? I guess so. Huh? And. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, have to live with that. There is the famous uh, sun visor right over here. A couple of this, um, I think, is yeah, part of the engine. Here we have the uh, differential and rear suspension, a couple of shock absorbers, and that's what we have on this sprue. Yeah, uh, exhaust molded in. Not everybody's cup of tea, certainly not mine, but it is what it is. <laughs> right now that's interesting this is the fan right over here and the fan has been incorporated with some of the belt assembly not a fan of that with this fan not a fan of that fan right a couple of smaller parts right over here the uh, rear door or the rear hatch here we go which obviously as we have seen in this version should be able to open and these are two benches which you can put or not put into the back of the car let's have a look at the yeah, let's see can you see yeah, i guess you can there is the uh, dashboard right over here which is not bad is that gonna help uh, it's just white very white so it whites out washes out but yeah there's the dashboard uh, two engine halves these are the drum brakes right over here here is the steering wheel which looks small for the original 39 but obviously it's kind of a hot rod delivery van it looks just about right. Here's the front suspension, all kind of assembled already. Again, not a fan of that, but it is what it is. And here we have another part of the belt assembly. So quite a few things pre-assembled, which some of us would probably rather wish was not pre-assembled, because <coughs> it's then easier to paint. But yeah, is what it is. Doesn't do anything. To the beauty of the car it's still a fantastic car and the priors you can see there's very little flash very little uh, uncleanliness on the on the tabs that looks all very very fresh it's just here we go it's just old molds that's what it is all right here we have the uh, they packed the uh, bonnet or hood separately right over here very beautiful 
just keep it like that. We have the bottom pan right over here. So there are some holes where those benches go. This is where the seats go. And as you probably have guessed, molded in are the pedals. This one is a, well in the old days it would have been a three on the tree, but it looks like it has been converted to a four or five speed on the tunnel. At the bottom, not too bad, at least some structure, not just plain uh, plastic, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And then the beautiful body. Let's put it on here so we can, uh, let's put it on here in a minute. Let's just have a look at it. Uh, molded in, obviously, the handles and the uh, hinges. No surprises there. Molded in also the wipers. Also, that should not come as a surprise. We have seen lots of things are molded in, and these obviously then molded in as well. We have a, see, this is closed as it should be. Opening here for the rear. Body itself is very clean. It is, there are not many, many things which need a terrible cleanup, so you can just go over quickly with a sanding paper and get out what you think needs to get out of here and then you can go and prime it so yeah and obviously it looks a lot better as we have just said once you put it on here there you go that gives you an idea should we put the should we put the bonnet on oh, let's put the bonnet on going all out today you can put the bonnet on see how the fitment is of that obviously the most important parts the rest you can fiddle around with here we go that's not too bad not too bad at all yeah there we go so this would be going in here bonnet would be going on here fitment on this side and on this side doesn't look too bad at all I think that will be I will be happy with that you can work with that for sure so that all seems to be fitting very very nicely and as I said you can make it a two-tone three-tone or you can make it a monotone if that's what you want to do but yeah you can certainly have your options I mean you could paint the lower part different and you could paint you know, maybe this upper part, or the same part as the lower part, and just paint something darker in the middle. So there are many, many options, many options, and you can go and use any of them. And it looks beautiful. And uh, I'm very nice to see you don't need to use the roof, but you can. I'm not quite sure if I want to. I'll decide that when I get there. So uh, in the meantime, let's put everything back together here the way it was, very cleverly. There we go. And put that into its bag, right over here. And back into the box. Yes, that's what I did. Actually back into the lid, cleverly enough, but that didn't, no, not a problem whatsoever. So here we are, this was the closer look at the 39 Chevy sedan delivery from the fine folks over at Rivelle. Let's go back uh, to the bench and have some final thoughts and say goodbye. See you there. And here we are, back on top with the uh, Chevy sedan delivery. And uh, it's obviously a very, very nice kit with beautiful artwork. I love that artwork there. It really looks awesome. I think it's fantastic. As we can see, the kit itself needs uh, some work. Lots of stuff is molded in. So if you're not a fan of that, maybe not the kit for you. Um, it has a part count of barely 100 parts so yeah it is a it is not a complicated kit you can see fitment of the body which obviously is the most important part for me is excellent the rest can be made fit so that's not a problem i love the wheels i love the option it gives you on the paint front 
and uh, I think all in all it's a beautiful car and there's a 39 uh, Chevy sedan delivery you're not gonna find uh, many more others from other manufacturers either than monogram and Revell. so these are your options I love it I will certainly build it I'm looking forward to it to be quite honest and uh, have a beautiful paint scheme on it and uh, we'll love it but as i said if you are not a fan of molded in exhaust and molded in uh, door handles and that kind of stuff if that really sets you so far off that you're rather not going to buy the kit well then don't but if you love uh, pre-war delivery cars or pre-war cars anyway pre-world war ii even world war one so this obviously should be part of your collection thanks very much for popping in hope you guys enjoyed that i certainly did I wish you a lovely uh, rest of the day and a good week forward and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.